An update on trying to fit a right hand side, a drive chain side, pedal assist sensor on an e-bike. I got the sensor to fit but I had to hammer it into position and uh, it rubs against the magnetic disc there. So it's a very dodgy fix. It's not a fail because it works but it rubs and it could be catastrophic at, well, a thousand kilometres, a hundred kilometres, ten kilometres, one kilometre, one metre. So I can't really call it a fix, can I? The reason I'm doing this is because I've got Holotech to a bottom bracket, which means there's no gap on the left side or the right side. And so instead of using some sort of sensor there between the gap, you need to so I put a magnetic disc onto your chain set. Is that what we call these? Chain set, crank set? You know, I know they're individually they're called chain rings, but what do you call the whole thing? I'll call it a crank set. But uh, yeah, you've got to put a magnetic disc on that. But then the magnetic disc itself has got to be a certain size. So, uh, and probably for most people, they won't have a small enough ring to put the disc on. Because the first problem is you need a tiny ring, maybe 21 teeth. This one's actually 30 teeth, but you need a, it needs to be a bolt chain, a bolt circle diameter. That's these bolts, because that's what it magnetically clings to. Let's get, I think it's five bolts in there. And uh, it needs to be a bolt circle diameter of 64 millimetres or 74 millimetres, and then you use the adapter. The bolt circle diameters are sort of, the bolt straight through, you know, even though this is five bolts, you could guess it, and it'll be 74 millimetres. I've got a magnetic disc on, so you can't really see them. 64 millimetre or 74 millimetre bolt chain diameter here, across here. You know, you're talking about 21 tooth ring or up to 30 ring if you're lucky with a five bolt, which I've got here. But really, you're probably going to have to look around to get that now because it'll, it'll probably be a triple ring. It'll be a very small tooth thing. Um, so that's a bit of a nightmare and pretty expensive probably. So I'm talking about if you're fitting a Holotech 2 bracket thing. So that's the first problem. But the second problem is uh, you'll probably not get the there'll probably be not enough space for the sensor because that magnetic ring will be so close to your bike. Well, that's what happened to me. This is the sensor that uh, Yossi Power advise people to get if they're fitting it on a Holotech 2 bottom bracket, like this one. But what I found anyway is it's just too close, the sensor's too close. And so I had to hammer it away. And even though I've hammered it, it still rubs. I couldn't get it far enough away because of the way it was bending, you know. If you could find one that you could sort of had a more recessed bit here, you might have better luck, you know, but the one that they recommended, I couldn't get to f fit nicely. So you've got the chain ring problem first. You'll need to have a 64 or 74 millimetre bolt chain diameter. But then for the sensor, I thought I had a brainwave. Use a clip on one because the the places you buy them from, they say a lot of them are universal. So I took the one that I got from Yossi Pair off. It's quite hard, well, for me anyway. Yossi Pair use Yuli clips, I think they're called, or Julie clips, something like that. So I got a clip on with the, the same Julie clip, or Yuli. Everything was great physically. Let's make it edited out. I'll just keep it in, just, there we go. But no light. So electronically it doesn't match. There's no, no light LED. That would have been ideal. I'm just messing about here, you know. It's not working anyway. You 
You give me an idea. I'll put it there for now, but it's, nothing happens. I think a clip one would be the best answer, but you'll need to find that it electronically works with your, I think it's your microcontroller, according to Google Gemini. So if you get a clip on one, uh, you'll need to make sure it's compatible, not just physically, because that's compatible physically. No instructions or name or anything, so I'm totally lost. Apparently there's one more sensor you could try for the, the drive chain side, as they call it, or the right, right side, whatever you want to call it. And that's a one that fits underneath the bracket down here. I don't know what it's called, say called the bottom bracket sensor or something. And apparently you, you put something over here so that you can still get your wires through if you've got wires down there. So if you need to, you know, a sort of adapter plate thing, it's all plastic. Um, yeah, so that's the other, only other option I've seen. And I say seen that, I saw some guy on YouTube mention it. I've, I've not really seen it in any of the stores or, you know, online stores or whatever. I think I saw it one on the King Meter website, but I'm not sure. If anyone could advise me on how to, to buy a sensor that will be compatible, that would be great, you know. It's a Yossi Power kit. Yossi Power. I think the Yossi Power one they suggested to buy is a, a DH type, which is dual, I can't remember. And it's got 12 magnets, I think. You would, th you would think by now they'd be onto wireless sensors, you know. Maybe just put a tiny, tiny bit where you fit for the receiver. They probably are at the better end of the market, but at the cheaper end of the market were still all these bits of wire, these wired ones. This wouldn't have fit there anyway, it was too tight. I would have probably taken that off, taken that case off and just sort of stuck it somewhere, quite near, and hope. Oh yeah, the battery's upside down, but it works anyway. It's the only way I could get it to fit, it was too, too close to there. So if you're in this situation, what to do? Well, first of all, you could ask somebody that knows. I mean, I've been looking around the internet, it's not really that easy, you know. There's forums from 2018 and stuff, but I've not really found an answer. If you don't know anybody that knows, then pay somebody that knows. Maybe, you know, Fiverr or something. I had a look at Fiverr, there was an Italian guy who used to give e-bike advice, but his account's on hold, apparently, I don't know why. Apart from that, I couldn't really see anything in Fiverr, you know, and he was £8.38 anyway, so that was a bit too much for me. I mean, you could ask the, the online shops that sell them, like e-bike e solutions, etc. But I would guess they'd be a bit annoyed, especially if you don't buy anything from them, you know. Maybe they could do something like, OK, I'll tell you if you give me £3 or something, you know, something like that. Solution number two, in my opinion, is Replace this with a, a traditional square taper bottom bracket because that's what the whole market's designed for at the moment. So, uh, and that, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll try this first, how I've got it set up, you know. I get a feeling it's going to be all right, but I've hammered that away. I've bent the sensor, so it's really not good at all, but... I'll see how it goes, maybe after a while I'll forget. And it rubs. It's scraping the plastic on the on the disc, magnetic disc, but uh, you know. I may just get a square taper, you know, because it, if it was a square taper, I'd have a gap here. I could put the one that Yossipur gave me, which is a one piece, and it would probably on, you know, 30 minutes or something, in an hour, and that would be me. Instead, I'm here six months later. Apparently uh, Shimano are replacing most of their grip sets with Shimano Qs. Their lower end grip sets, uh, you know, uh, on the road bikes and mountain bikes, I think, with Shimano Qs. And what I've seen so far, they're all hollow tape too, bottom brackets like this, which don't have a gap. So I get the feeling more and more people are going to have this problem. And by then, probably the e-bike kit manufacturers will come up with a better, better solution than they currently have because this isn't really a solution for road bikes, really. 
you know, because having a tiny ring, most people don't, they're almost obsolete now, especially for road bikes. But at the moment, the whole market's for uh, square taper, really, so uh, I'm really thinking of going for that, because square taper crank sets, probably a lot cheaper. Um, I would need to get my chain right, line right and all that, but I'd probably be all right. You've got to check that you've got the, the correct threading through here, you know, when you take all this off, internal threading. I think I have, so that's probably what I'll do. But I'm still thinking about it, but I probably will. And as I said in my last video, the third option, I think, is sort of uh, buy a, a new bike because they're so cheap now. Decent bikes, you know, Decathlon will get a road bike at £250, you know, square taper. It would probably be ideal, you know, so... And it's, it's probably, I mean, a, a square taper crank set, I don't know how much that'll cost. I think you can get them relatively cheap, uh, between £30 and £50 even, but maybe it's just better just going for a new bike altogether, and they're that cheap, you know. As long as it's a square taper one, there's no point in buying another Holotec 2 bracket one. Anyway, first I'll give this a go, but uh, I'm really thinking of a square taper or a new bike even, but it wouldn't surprise me if this works out alright, but it could go catastrophic at any moment, you know. Maybe after a thousand kilometres, I don't know, but if I'm lucky, but yeah, that's my story. Alright, goodbyes guys. I tried my best. So, it's not a fail video, but it's a dodgy fix. Here's my notes.